most of the time I get distracted in my daily life and my, my just my work, my existence is can probably be bucketed into the finding more information category. So almost all the time that I'm procrastinating, that I'm not doing what I need to do, that I'm I'm just in this mode, this weird autopilot mode of accumulating more information, but it's not completely autopilot. There's an aspect of creativity and curiosity to it, and it's not a very bad way to think and be, um, except for the fact that it doesn't let me do my shit and get my stuff done. But in general, um, I noticed that at a good amount of time, probably over 50% of my distraction, dis- being distracted has to do with the, uh, with the accumulation of information. Now, I'm not talking about the underlying cause here, which is caused by anxiety most of the time. I'm talking about the actual manifestation of it. How does it look like in real life? What does it do? Well, it, it takes the form of Googling. It takes the form of YouTubing, researching, researching, and it, it, the mind just keeps getting into this research and acquire information zone, and it's so weird. And there's probably some deep evolutionary, um, evolutionary reasons for that. Probably, it's useful to acquire information whether where there is information to be acquired, because in the past, in our evolutionary past, I don't think we had much information besides information that was immediately available to us. So when there is information to be had. Take it. Take that information. That's what your mind is saying. But you don't live in that world. You don't live in a world of information scarcity. Just like you don't live in a, in a world of, um, of caloric scarcity anymore. You live, you live in a world of immense, immense caloric abundance. And you also live in a world of immense, immense information abundance. And if you don't realize that, how, oh, my OS, my OS, my firmware is built for this type of environment, but I'm operating in this type of environment. If you don't realize that, if you don't tell that to yourself at some point in your life, you're gonna be in this autopilot habitual state of just constantly, constantly, constantly getting fooled by modern society. Your mind is just gonna constantly think it's it's somehow doing something productive, something useful, something 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 useful in a sense. But in reality, you're not doing anything useful. In reality, uh, at, after a certain threshold, the attainment of more information becomes very uh, not valuable. And at a certain point, the returns become so diminishing. Uh, that they well you have you have the phenomenon of diminishing returns you have that with information so as you you gain more information you that's good you have a lot of utility but at some point at some point you the more information you gain it lends you a smaller and smaller and smaller amount of positive utility until you gain one extra morsel of information and that morsel gives you exactly zero extra utility this is Theoretical economics, basically. So that morsel gives you zero extra utility. And then the next morsel is going to probably take the utility away. Per theoretical economics, of course. that That's how uh, theoretical economics deals with physical goods generally. Um, but, and, and, you know, in production. But the same could be true with information. Um, maybe... You could argue that there's there's not a point where there's decreasing utility for more information, but you can surely, surely argue that at some point, the utility of additional information is going to be zero. Because after all, your goal in life, in gaining the information, in whatever you're trying to do, is not to get the information. It's to make a good, correct, positive action, right? That's your goal, right? 